guys, how you doing? It's Henry! And mowers and blowers! Good morning. It is cold today. Um, 32 degrees? It really doesn't give you much motivation to come outside and wrench, you know what I mean? But, I gotta keep going, man. Otherwise, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna end up just sitting on the couch all day and fall asleep watching movies. <laughs> What's wrong with that, you say? You really don't get anything done if you do that, you know what I mean? Other than knocking out some movies. Anyway, I'm down to the nitty gritty, and thank goodness, because uh, as winter comes along, the videos are going to be uh, less often, for sure. Uh, I'm down to very few things to fix now. I mean, surely there's always things to fix. Stop calling me Shirley. But uh, I've got that uh, Craftsman LT1000 lawn tractor without an engine. Uh, I'm probably going to bring that in here and shove that Kohler Command 16 on there. Uh, or 12, I forget. But today, I'm going to be working on my last piece of equipment that I haven't even touched yet. It's a two-stroke. I hate two-strokes. Gotta bang them out anyway. Anyway. Here it is. This is a Echo PB2100 leaf blower. Found it on the side of the street, maybe three blocks that way. They can't see that way. They don't know what that way is. That way. Uh, I shoved this end of the tube on here. So it's nice and long. It, it was over here and it was missing the other tube. Locked. It, it doesn't look like it's been run in years. So I don't know. Maybe mommy knows. I don't know. I don't even really want to work on it. You know what I mean, guys? But uh, first things first, got to unfreeze this, and I'm going to remove the uh, the recoil off of it, you know, and see if it the recoil itself is the one that's frozen or the crankshaft is frozen, you know? Either way, I got to figure it out. Why? I don't know. Got this hex tool gonna remove the four that hold the recoil starter although I think that maybe I'd have to remove this part first because this is on top of the recoil starter Okay, as you guys saw from time lapse, uh, remove the recoil starter. In the recoil starter, I thought that maybe when I looked in it, there was all kinds of rust buildup, right? I mean, it was just rusted out completely, it wouldn't even turn, right? I used the channel locks and tried to turn this uh, cup for the uh, crankshaft, and it was very difficult to turn. So difficult that uh, I was almost like bending the cup, you know, with the channel locks. I took some. Uh, penetrating oil from my friends over at Lucas Oil Products, sprayed it in there, thinking that it would kind of loosen up the uh, recoil coil, right? 
but then uh, while trying to turn it and stuff, I could just, it just free, it freewheeled, you know what I'm saying? And it realized that the um, most inner uh, coil was just spinning on its own because it wasn't attached to the rest of it. And then when I took the rest of it out, it just crumpled into pieces, several pieces actually. So this coil is completely rusted out on the inside. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't gripping at all. The coil's done. So this coil is on ski. Took the uh, spark plug out because I wanted to spray some oil inside the uh, spark plug hole to lubricate the, uh, you know, the crankshaft and the pistons and all that. Um, you know, just to get it to loosen up a little bit. And then when I removed the spark plug, the, uh, there's no gap hardly, you know, this, this, it's touching, you know, there's no gap. So that's not going to work for sure, you know what I mean? Got to make some kind of a little gap there, you know, just a little bit. That'll probably do. So I'm going to spray some penetrating oil in the spark plug hole just to let it free up a little bit, you know. Percolate a little bit. I don't know. Uh, I can't really move on without another recoil starter, you know. I'm gonna go look in my uh, shed of parts and see maybe uh, my friend uh, Five Speed Ash might have might have had a. I, I don't recognize this, so I doubt it. But I'll see if I have one back there. If not, I don't know what. I'm gonna do. So obviously, I could not find a uh, obviously an Echo one. You know what I mean? I just didn't have anything like it. You know. Uh, however, I did find this. It is a Black & Decker recoil, and it's really good condition. I mean, very good spring action, you know? Sucks it back very well. And it looks about the same diameter. I figure I just, I was gonna abandon the whole project because I didn't think this would work at all because it's so frozen, you know what I mean? But then when I sprayed some of this penetrating oil in the hole, right, and removing the spark plug, I actually used the channel locks and tried turning this a little bit more, and it actually started turning, which is pretty amazing. So, uh, and then I shined the light in the spark plug hole, and I could see the piston moving. So, it is moving now. See? See, it moves. So, that's part of it right there. But then when I looked on this side, you know, the blower fan, it wasn't moving when I was moving that. And I noticed that the nut that affixes the blower onto the crankshaft is missing. So the blower fan is just sitting there, not spinning. So I'd have to take this all apart and find a screw uh, nut and put it on that shaft so it also spins the uh, blower fan, you know? But first things first, I was thinking about just taking this thing, putting it back together again, and selling it locally for $10 just for parts, you know what I mean? But then I thought about it, you know, and I said, I'm never gonna use I'm never gonna sell this black and decker nor use it. You know, I don't even know anybody with a black and decker <laughs> blower, you know, I don't know anybody with a gas one. So I figured I'll just take this apart and just see if I could get the recoil to fit in here and get this echo one to work. If I did, then that would be cool. Instead of just giving up on it, you know? Uh, normally, I wouldn't go to these lengths to get a simple uh, leaf blower to work, but to me, it's a challenge. I want to see if I can do it, you know, and I feel I feel bad about just like, abandoning it. It could work. Who knows, right? I know if I pull this out, it's just going to go nuts. You know what I mean? I'd have to take this apart and it would. Yeah. Why don't you just cut the rope? Well, if I cut the rope, the rope will be a little bit shorter. So what? That's a little bit shorter. You may not get all the recoil you want. 
just an inch. Eh, uh, you're right. <laughs> it's just an inch. <laughs> Oh boy. That's it. That's done. See? Alright, let's see. Oh my god. That's a good recoil though. Yeah, it's a good one. Fresh. Newish. This, this is enough to drive you crazy, though. I've done this before with recoils. It could drive you crazy. But I'm going to try to stuff this in there somehow. <laughs> Shout out to Ian Bailey from Wake Forest, North Carolina. Right around now, that thing has popped out like four times already and I'm about to lose my mind. But I soldier on and I said, you know what? I'm gonna get it done. I don't care how I'm gonna squeeze this spring back into here, but I'm gonna do it. A few times I wanted to just clear that entire area and just throw it into the garbage. But I'm not one to give up too easily. So I keep going. So the next two minutes or so is me trying to do this. If you guys would like to buy a sticker, go check out the description of each video. There are links to my eBay store where you can buy the long bumper sticker, the holographic Patriot sticker, the holographic Dunsky sticker and my regular sticker. Support the channel by a sticker. Also, if you'd like to donate a buck or two, keep the videos coming every day. PayPal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate your support. If you guys are interested in a sneak peek of each video, you can peek over at my Instagram account. So follow me on Instagram at Mowers and Blowers. In addition, I wanted to also cover all the social media platforms. While I never Twitter, I don't like to tweet, I did start a Twitter account at Mowers Blowers on Twitter. Also, you can find me on Facebook as well. Or, to easily find my YouTube channel, just go to mowersblowers.com. As you can see now, I've discovered that it's easier to hold the coil in my hand and use the um, cup to hook onto the inner part and try to squeeze it in that way. I eventually do get it done that way. I've been at this for like an hour. Finally got it coiled onto the spool, holding it with this string here, see? So now I'm gonna just try to place it in here for the very first time. right where the hole is. I don't think that's going to work though. I think it's going to pop out. I'm going to 
try to hook the string back out again. This has been like the biggest pain in the rear this entire year maybe. This might be the toughest thing I've ever had to do. I mean I literally have had this done like this 13 times and it just popped out. I think this might be the closest I've ever gotten. Oh my god I think I got it. It's okay. I just have to fish this rope through the hole though and hope this thing doesn't pop out. So I think it's in there. I think I should put the screw in before I, I do anything else. I don't want to screw it up. You know what I mean? So I've got the coil in there. That's the most important part. Is that I got the coil in there and it's hooked onto the two little uh, areas where the outer and the inner hook up to. So I just gotta fish this rope through the hole is all, and I think I got it. It only took me all afternoon. But you know what? I just had to do it, otherwise I didn't feel good, you know? Okay, so look, the reel is in there and it's hooked onto the coil. The coil is in there. I'm gonna take the string. I gotta burn this end. Because look, if I pull it, it has to, I have to recoil this again. Yeah, and then stick the string through. Oh my god, oh my god, it's going to take forever. Alright, so, I pull it. Should I recoil it this way? It has to be this way. Otherwise, it won't work. All right, I'll come back to you when I'm almost done. So I uh, couldn't get any uh, anything happening. I checked for spark, and it did have spark. I didn't do it this way. I just put the screwdriver onto the screw, and I saw spark. So I've been getting, I've been pulling this a long time. I've been getting some puffs of smoke. So see. See? 
there's puffs of smoke that comes out. It wants to start, but it won't start. I think it might have something to do with the fact that that screw is not attached onto the blower fan. I'm thinking maybe the key might be sheared, right? Which I've never done on a leaf blower before, so that'll be kind of interesting. Uh, the carburetor could be dirty too, but it should at least turn over, you know? But I think the timing is off. What's good news is that the primer bulb seems to work and the carburetor seems to be clean only because you can push fuel through it pretty easily and uh, it seems like it is getting fuel. It is getting smoke, you see that? Look. dead but it is getting spark and it is igniting something in there i i think maybe it's because i shot so much uh, penetrating oil inside that it's not igniting properly you know what i mean but i think uh after i move it around a little bit and the uh oil subsides maybe i get a couple of ignitions to burn the oil off right um it'll be okay but i think i might next have to open this up completely and figure out that uh blower fan and see if the a uh, key is attached. Excuse me while I have a heart attack. Oh. Mailbag. I ordered a bunch of stuff on eBay. I don't know what this is, but I have a feeling it's like the, the propeller light, the LED propeller light. I bought one with five blades. This looks like it's about that size. You know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking. But either way, whether it is or not, I want to show it to you guys anyway, because it's cool, you know? Oh. Yep, it's exactly what it is. I got a box in another box. It's from China. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was five. It's actually four. Just uh, show you how to put it on just like that. Can you guys see? It's just a light bulb, okay? But, ooh, you know what? That doesn't seem as bright as this one. You know what I mean? It's still good, but it's like not as bright as this one for sure. Cause that one you can't even, the other one you can't even see, the, the triple one, you can't even look into it without being blinded. So the, the one with the foursies, that's no good. Yeah, that's much, the, the triple one is much brighter than the foursies. You know what, I'm going to put the foursies on the top one anyway. So I took my fluorescent bulb out of the top and I put this one here, let's see. Uh, see, I can go like this though. I don't know, maybe with some time it'll, it'll heat up a little bit better or something and uh, provide more light. Yeah, the Forzies one's definitely no good. I think it was like $15 or $10, something like that. $10 or $15, free shipping. So today, because our recoil starter was completely dunsky, with the recoil inside split into three pieces, I decided to swap over a Briggs and uh, Black and Decker coil onto the Echo. It took me all afternoon to do it but I finally did do it, and now the recoil does work. 
So today's episode was just putting the re just getting the recoil working, you know, uh, from another Black and Decker part. Not meant for it, but I made it work anyway. Tomorrow we're gonna take this thing apart and figure out why uh, it doesn't start. You know, could be the carburetor or could be a sheared key. Not too sure, but uh, I hate two strokes, man. But you know what? I wanna try to figure it out, you know? Thanks a lot for joining me on today's episode. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Yeah. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.